Let's look at an example for tunneling. Transmission coefficient for an electron. A 30 electron volt electron is incident on a square barrier of height 40 electron volts. Part A. What is the probability that the electron tunnels through the barrier if its width is 1 nanometers? Part B. What is the probability that the electron tunnels through the barrier if its width is 0.1 nanometers? So in part A, let me calculate the wave vector magnitude K. That is 2m u minus e divided by h bar uh, square root of the top now if i substitute the numbers i have uh, two times the mass of the electron 9.11 10 to minus 31 kilograms uh, the potential energy is 40 electron volts that's the barrier we have a total energy 30 electron volts 40 minus 30 times 1.6 10 to minus 19 coulombs to convert it to joules so square root of this multiplied by 2 pi divided by h Planck's constant 6.626 10 to minus uh, 34 joule seconds so this gives us 1.619 times 10 to 10 per meter uh, k is the, remember 2 pi over lambda so it's going to be it's going to have a unit 1 over the meter the transmission coefficient t it can be estimated to be exponential minus 2kl 2k times the width of the barrier so if i substitute the numbers here it's the exponential minus 2 times 1.619 10 to 10 times the width of the barrier in part a is 1 nanometers 1 times 10 to minus 9 meters and this gives us for the transmission coefficient 8.66 times 10 to minus 15 so that's a probability it doesn't have a unit okay now in part b we're changing the width to 0.1 nanometers so the same formula just this l will change so in part b i have a new transmission coefficient that is approximately exponential minus 2 times 1.619 times 10 to 10 times 1 10 to minus 10 meters it's 0.1 nanometers 1 angstroms and this will give us a transmission coefficient of 0 0.039 you can see it's significantly increased by changing the barrier width by a factor of 10 so by decreasing it by a factor of 10 I increase the chances of getting transmission tunneling from 10 to minus 15 or order of magnitude 10 to minus 14 to uh, 10 to minus 2 so that's a significant increase now uh, some applications of this tunneling uh, process is in the scanning tunneling microscope uh, also in nuclear fusion and resonant tunneling transistor so it also finds an application in some electronic devices so we have seen an example uh, we calculated the transmission coefficient for an electron which is incident on a 40 electron volt square barrier whose width is either 1 nanometers or 0.1 nanometers and the energy of the electron is 30 eV 
First, we calculated k, the wave vector magnitude, square root 2m u minus e, divided by h bar. And then we substituted for uh, exponential minus 2kl, the transmission coefficient l value, first 1 nanometers, then 0.1 nanometers. And we found that the transmission coefficient increases from 10 to minus 14 to 0.039 a very significant increase by decreasing the width of the barrier by a factor of 10. And finally, I talked about some applications of the tunneling process. It's widely uh, used in scanning tunneling microscope, uh, in nuclear fusion, and also in some electronic devices like resonant tunneling transistor.